So while working on the motorcycle, I did notice the starter motor didn't have a really good noise on it when it was starting. It wasn't enough power there. So I thought I'd take the old starter motor out and see if it needs any work or any replacing. Um, as I was taking the starter motor out, I did notice that it actually was uh, seized inside the motorcycle. Two bolts hold it on the bottom of the, the engine. But I took those bolts out and the, actual, uh, the motor itself, as it came away, you'll see the upper collar of the starter motor was actually broken and seized in the motorcycle. I had to end up drilling it out. It wasn't too bad because it's alum aluminium, aluminium, so it's quite soft. But you'll see I drilled that out. That's the collar that was stuck in there with the washer. And then I had to order a replacement. So these old motorcycles, replacement parts can be difficult, new anyway. So I actually went up on the, the, the good old flea bay and ordered a, a replacement. And the replacement was in worse looking condition than what my uh, one was, which you'll see I did clean up. So here it arrived quite quickly and I was able to just do the same kind of uh, treatment to it. So I actually got my brass wheel, I grinded it all down, but it was a very strong one. It's from a Super Dream Super. Uh, so it's actually a, a better one in terms of power output, but it's exact match replacement for mine. So I got the old brass wheel out. I'll let you watch this satisfying cleaning of it as I actually got it back to condition. So I've done a few of these videos. I'm simply restoring my uh, Honda CB250. And over time, I realized that the gloves, the clear gloves that you get, don't last as long. Like each time, I have to change them like five or six times a day. So I ended up getting these uh, kitchen gloves, these bright orange ones that actually lasted me like a month now. Um, so they're really good. So if you're thinking about doing some type of work, get like a good robust kitchen gloves. They look a bit funny, but as long as you keep your hands clean, um, that's the main thing. Because it can be very greasy and loads of parts kind of make a mess really. So you'll see, look at that difference. The silver versus the black so i think they just painted it with something to match the engine because they didn't want to keep the engine silver so it's all black so i was able to get the brass wheel out and these brass wheels are worth their gold in weight because worth the money in weight worth the money in gold yeah whatever that saying is so what you do is you actually get the the wheel put it on a cordless drill and you're good to go you can actually clean a number of parts and get a lot of rust off it saves you sanding and it is basically a quick way of using like a bench grinder type situation and you can see it's very satisfying seeing the actual part getting cleaned right before your eyes without being damaged so because a lot of this engine is aluminium this is the best way to do it and slowly i have got to a stage now that i've started getting the bike to a point where everything's been fixed and it's all working you need to do a bit of carb balancing we've sprayed and we've removed the swing arm we've done the painting of the frame itself and now we're at the point where we're actually getting the last finishing touches on i've done some of the bodywork spraying and that's quite a bit of a you'll see in my next update when i'm doing the bodywork it needed a lot of work on the panels there was a lot of uh, indentations in them and even using filler and primer and spraying back it wasn't getting like a really nice nice finish that i wanted i am using rattle can spray cans to spray the motorcycle as well so you will see how that progresses over the next few videos so stay tuned if you're not already keep subscribed because these videos come out every frequently and i know they're going to slowly pick up pace because i've got a few uh, people helping me out along the way uh, with the forum where we're actually getting additional information about motorcycles so we've got a couple of more motorcycles coming through that will be restored and i will restore them have the videos made and then i'll release videos every single day for like 10 days straight because it will be it will already be done whereas right now what you're following me uh, doing is like two weeks behind so it's kind of like i'm two weeks ahead of where you think i am in this video and um, so it's like two weeks uh, out if that makes sense it's like funny isn't it when you make videos you what you did two weeks ago is coming out now for the start of the project we were quite close we were like a couple of days out but now that there's a lot more work going on and there's a few projects going on you can see in the description you'll see links to trusted creators and all the videos that are coming out there as well and that's helped us make this for you on the mi bandit channel so i'm hoping these are helping you and giving you like a bit of a, a view it's so satisfying watching this uh, look how clean that's come now if you skip back about two minutes in the video and see how bad this was and look how clean that is now but yeah this is a starter motor all we need to do is once this is clean we'll put this back into the motorcycle uh, engine lower mounting system and then we can do a, a false uh, not a false but like a start just to see how it works <laughs> Hey 
If you enjoying the series, make sure to subscribe so you actually get notifications directly to your phone each time I load a new episode. I've got loads of videos planned for this bike when we get it back on the road. So it'd be good to have you along on the journey with me. Take care and I'll see you on the next video right here.